Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. Today we're gonna dive inside and check out the interior on this uh, 2022 Toyota Corolla Hybrid. We'll jump inside, I'll show you all the great features. Be sure to look for a link at the end of this video to the exterior overview, but let's go ahead and get started inside. Heading inside on the driver's shore, we'll take a look here at the door itself. So this is an all black interior, so fairly generic on the door. If you're looking for a car that's super practical, that doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, therefore not a lot to go wrong with it, Corolla's trustworthy in that compartment. So a black door handle, black armrest, this is all cloth through here, padded. Auto up and down, backlit uh, driver's window, power windows all the way around, power door locks, power mirrors, speaker down in the door, the sound system's okay. If you're not an audiophile, you're gonna be just fine. Bottle holder in the door, and there's a pocket there in the door as well. Take a look inside here. Your driver's seat is manual, forward backwards. It also, it has an up and down feature and also a recliner. These are cloth bucket seats, kind of a quilted pattern here. Height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belts, side airbags in the seats and also side curtain airbags for everybody. There's 10 airbags in a Corolla Hybrid standard. Over on the dashboard, again, all black with the exception of this silver trim here. It looks nice. There's four vents up and down, left and right, on and off. Down on the lower dashboard, we discover a couple of switches, just three here. Dimmer switch for your dash light. I mentioned before, automatic high beams on and off. Gas door release. Hood release is down here. Gas door release is down here. Gas door is here on the driver's side. Dead pedal brake and gas accelerator where it should be tilt and telescoping steering wheel is standard so not a lot of bells and whistles but super reliable and hits all the sweet spots really nicely let's go ahead and jump inside and check it out so here i am behind the wheel of the corolla wanted to let you know my camera is pretty much touching my nose i wanted to show you the perspective from the uh, driver's seat visibility also the amount of leg room it's pretty impressive i've got the seat all the way back Hopefully you can see up in there. I'll turn on some light. But I can just touch the accelerator. There's no way I would drive it like this. My point is a six-footer is going to be just fine. As far as the steering wheel itself, it is vinyl. There's no leather wrapping. It's padded. It's comfortable. There's a driver's side airbag. We've got fingertip controls for our information center, Bluetooth connectivity, voice activation, and volume for your sound system here. Then over on this side, we have our cruise control, fingertip, dynamic radar, cruise control settings lane departure on and off and we can change the radio stations up here is our front washer wipers with intermittent controls and then over here are headlight controls with auto on and off feature also remember the auto high beams i'm going to go ahead and start it up so you can see the gauge cluster on here first i wanted you to know smart keyless entry so you just have to put put push pushing the foot on the brake pushing the button sorry about that and it will start right up now I need to move the seat forward so I can see what I'm talking about here. Um, this instrument cluster is uh, is only available on two Corollas, and that is the Hybrid Edition and the fully loaded top of the line XSE. I love the look of this uh, gauge cluster. So that's a, a seven inch uh, screen or computer screen right here in the center. And then these are regular mechanical gauges and the blue and the red and the green, super colorful, easy to read. I, I really like the look of it. In the center here, this is, as I said, it's like a computer screen. So you got your speedometer, you've got outside temperature and all of your settings can be done right here if you wanna change like your uh, safety sense settings and all of that. There's a fuel computer up here. You can really switch a lot of things out and make it personal for yourself. But I, I personally like this gauge cluster uh, as opposed to the standard. But again, only available on the top of the line and on the hybrid, so pretty cool. Heading over to the center stack, this is also a seven inch touchscreen, similar to what we saw up here on the gauge cluster. Uh, of course, it does have the hybrid uh, monitoring system on here. Um, if we get over to the audio side of it, we have Sears satellite radio, uh, uh, Apple CarPlay, uh, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible across the board with Bluetooth connectivity. So that's pretty, uh, pretty great system. Um, navigation runs off of an app off of your smartphone, so it does not necessarily come with uh, a traditional navigation system. 
all gloss black trim around here with the silver highlights. Our heating and air conditioning, uh, this is going to be an automatic air conditioning system with driver temperature settings only. Passenger runs off the same side. Front window defrost, rear window defrost, which also happens to heat up the outside mirrors. So when you turn on the rear window defrost, it will warm up the outside mirrors, get the ice and snow off of those pretty quickly. Moving down the center console, uh, there's a storage bin up here. Let me throw some light up in there so you can see it. So there's a storage bin up here, just for odds and ends. It does not wirelessly charge. Interesting on the on here, there's a USB port up under here, um, and there's just one up front. There's a couple in the armrest. I'll show you in just a moment. As far as our center console, gloss black trim. We have our drive mode settings, traction control on and off, EV mode right there, and then we as a automatic. Uh, shifter here I did want to show you the backup camera so we'll go back up here and take a look so there's your backup camera 7 inch uh, it's pretty uh, clear pretty easy to see out the back but it does not have path projection so these lines don't project the the, the path if you will that you're backing up but um, for most people that's going to be just fine back down to the center console uh, parking brake parking brake hold dual cup holders here and then we'll swing around here and take a look at the armrest so the armrest there's no USB ports anywhere in the center here they're under the armrest which also is fabric covered and then you've got a small storage compartment there's a USB-C right here and a 12 volt right here as well uh, and the, the USB-C is backlit so at night you can see it it's kind of a pale blue color uh, but the storage area is uh, somewhat small. Same thing with the seats over here, quilted just like the driver's seat, height adjustable headrest, seat belt, side airbags, side curtain airbags, passenger assist grip up here, uh, lighted vanity mirrors, visor extensions on both sides. There's a side curtain airbag up there in the uh, in the A pillar. And as far as the dashboard, pretty bare minimal there's a little bit of silver trim here this is padded as well and then your glove box down here nice size glove box does come with all the owners books of course uh, but this is not a locking glove box so it's not going to be a secure place to put your stuff uh, back up top here just a couple switches overhead so reading lights map lights safety connect right here if you need help with roadside assistance push that toyota will get you taken care of your rear view mirror is just your standard flip the switch old school day night mirror and there's no uh, garage door openers so as far as the driver's compartment it really does cover the basics quite nicely uh, they don't make an upgraded version of this so it is um it's a great car for maybe uber drivers lyft drivers or folks who are road warriors especially at that 52 miles per gallon let's go ahead and jump in the back seat and check that out here's a quick look at the front seat from the back seat just to kind of give you the visibility out of the back there is a lot of room in the front seat of this the back seat's a little bit different so down on the center console it's just a little storage bin there's no charging ports there the back seat is pretty minimal, uh, but it serves every, you know, hits all the basics real well. No pockets on the backs of these seats, either one of them. Some, some Toyotas have it on this one or both. This has no pockets. Uh, I want to show you the leg room back here, though. I did bring this seat all the way back, um, and you can see I have plenty of leg room and knee room. Uh, that seat slides quite a distance, so the track is really long. If you're a tall person, you're going to be able to, to sit in here no problem. I don't see a problem also just seating another adult behind here. Uh, I'm 5'7", and I'm perfectly comfortable. Basics on the doors, nothing fancy there. Power windows, bottle holders, speakers down on the doors. Uh, coat hook, passenger assist grip, side curtain airbags. I mentioned earlier, 10 airbags. Uh, headrests are not adjustable they're in a fixed position there's three seat belts with child safety anchors in the seats and then there is a folding armrest here with cup holders built in what I like about the armrest though is it it rests on the seat 
Some cars have it up like this, and the first time somebody goes to get out, they push down to get out, and they break it. So I like the fact that it's on here. Two cup holders, no problem. The back seats do fold down in a 60-40 fashion. So you can do that while sitting, while sitting in the seat. The switch is up here, and you just push it down, and away you go. The only issue, it might be my, minor, is if that seat's reclined all the way back, you're going to have to move it ahead but I can still uh, push it down from here. And then you can see right access into the trunk. So both of these seats do fold down to 100% if that's what you're looking for. Pretty good cargo room once you do that, uh, especially for snow skis or golf clubs or what have you. So let's go ahead and jump in the trunk and check that out. Diving into the trunk, we've got a really nice low lift over height here, so it should be easy to load and unload items. And that uh, trunk pops straight up and out of your way so hopefully you won't bonk your head. Uh, the deck lid itself is lined which helps reduce road noise and there's an emergency release handle here. This is glow in the dark so if somebody gets stuck in the trunk they can get out. Toyota is all about safety, those little safety things. It is a nice deep trunk, tall I mean, uh, and as I mentioned those seats can fold down 60-40. There's a uh, cargo light back here with a switch to turn it on and off if you want to and then you should be able to maybe put one or maybe two sets of golf clubs you're probably gonna have to take your drivers out of your bag and run them up that way but you can put the clubs themselves this way uh, as far as the spare tire some people are gonna hate this when I say it but it is a fix a flat spare tire you get the pump you get the fluid all of that and it's all wrapped in this high density foam so they're going for lightweight, obviously, on this. And, you know, for some folks, that's a big deal. So if you don't like the fix a flat, you're probably going to have to buy your own spare. But uh, I get it. For some folks, it's the end of the world to not have a full-size spare tire. As I mentioned before, this one does have the all-weather floor liners. So you get the front and rear seat floor liners, and then also a trunk floor liner. I think that's uh, $249, but strongly recommend it, particularly if you live here in Wisconsin. So that's my interior overview on the 2022 Corolla Hybrid. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the description, and then be sure to look for the link of my uh, exterior overview at the end of this video. This is Tony, Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching.